Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Before I start my presentation, I would like to ask you a question. Mm, how many of you have prefer taking a bus to driving a car? Oh, okay. Oh, I prefer uh, taking a bus sometimes because uh, I would like to see people and you know be surrounded with people and uh, see. Uh, my way, and uh, I'm not uh, in my uh, in mood to drive, so I take the bus. But on the other hand, I love my car, and I love to drive it because it saves my time, and uh, it's more convenient for me. Oh, okay. Thank you for your answer. Okay, is there anyone uh, here? Okay. okay. I prefer driving car, okay, especially right. when I. I want to travel to another city. Mm -hmm. I I would like to see what is on the way. If there is any interesting place, I can uh, stop and see the place. That's why I prefer driving. When you take the bus, that means. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's interesting. Um, okay. Today, I would like to compare taking public transportation and driving a car with the uh, three pointers, and both they have similarity and uh, differences. Okay, firstly, taking a bus uh, is similar to driving a car because uh, both have different level of comfort. To illustrate, even though car, uh, car have leather seats, People didn't feel comfort because they are paying attention on a road ahead. In contrast, I'm sure you will be agree that uh, when riders are taking uh, a bus, they can feel relaxed or read or uh, study or uh, they, can they can sleep because they don't have any worries about traffic. Okay, let's go for my first part. Secondly, unlike owning a um, car, riding a bus is much cheaper because from what I know, it only requires to purchase a ticket monthly, a daily or monthly. On the other hand, owning a vehicle ha involves various expenses. Why, I, uh, why do I say that, this? In reality, the average cost, uh, car cost operation in BC is 8,558 per year. That includes duplication, insurance, maintenance, tax, tax, ta taxes, and tariffs. Furthermore, in fact, in 2021, the average new car cost is 48,258 dollars with an average payment of 563 per month. And the reliable user car also the cost is approximately 2,500 dollars. Okay, let's conclude my second part. Finally, Driving a car and taking a bus is dissimilar uh, in the convenience. Personally, if I'm not mistaken, a person takes uh, a person who takes uh, a car has to wait for for it or for car, and bus also makes many stops. However. A, a, a person who driving a car has more uh, convenience because driver uh, drivers can go directly to their destination without any problem. Uh, in addition, bus takers has to limit what they can bring because they can only take what they can hold by their two hands. But 
drive a car has uh, more rooms, then you can take whatever you want. In conclusion, while it's true that taking a bus and driving a car both have uh, each have positive and negative aspects, but what is actually important is people can choose whatever is appropriate for them to their destination comfortably, cost effectively, and on time. Thank you so much. Uh, that's my speech for today. If you have any question, please, I'm happy to answer your question. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>